Hey guys, my name is Scobie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a starburst effect and that is this effect you're seeing on screen right now. It's this nice simple effect that can be used for a number of different things and it's really simple and really easy to do. It's great for beginners and yeah, let's get right into it. First thing we're going to do is want to start up a new document. Any size doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go what I have by default here, 1920 by 1080 and we're going to start up on your document. I'm going to hide the background layer just for, for how I feel. I like hiding the background layer. That's up to yourself and we're going to start a new layer. Now we're going to want to use our color palette tool and we're going to want to pick two colors, whatever you want, but I would prefer to pick colors that are the same. So preferably uh, a purple, a light and a dark variation of the purple or whatever color. In this instance, I'm right on top of the purple or like a pinky purple, whatever this is. So I'm going to pick a light version of the pink. Now I'm going to switch to the background color to the foreground and I'm going to select the same pink and then just drag it down to make a darker version of this pink. Now, once you have your two colors selected, you want to grab your gradient tool, which will be on top of your paint bucket if you have that. And you want to make sure you have the linear gradient selected. Then you're going to want to go from the top of your uh, layer down to the bottom, holding the shift key to keep it straight. And once you just cover up the whole thing with your line, you want to drop it and you'll be left with this effect. Now, once you're done with this, you want to go to filter distort and wave which is going to give us this nice easy pattern now i had this done previously so it's ke it's kept the same uh same uh things i used from last time but normally it will be uh this will be at zero and these will all be set back to the very beginning now what you want to do is just play around with this this is a little bit of trial and error usually i keep the number of generators to 60 and our goal here is to make the lines even like I had previously. So you have to play around with the wavelength and the amplitude simply by dragging to get them to level up to nice even lines. Now you want to try to do it in such a way that the starting uh, line is going to be like either the same percentage or the same color so that the the um, end result is going to be a bit tidier. So this looks pretty okay right now. You can see that the starting uh, line is a, similar to the ending line. So that's what it's going to turn out on screen. And that's a pretty solid result right there. Um, that can take a little bit of fidgeting around to get it look good, but it's definitely worth it in the end. Next thing we're going to want to do is filter, distort, uh, sorry, distort and polar coordinates, which is going to give us this effect which is going to give us this nice starburst effect. Now the starburst is useful in a number of ways. It can be good if you want to size it up, for example, and uh, bring it up to the side of your screen. It can drag the tension up to where you want it. So let's say, for example, you had an object here that you wanted to have all the focus on. This can be a good little maneuver to bring the focus up to the screen without being too intrusive on the rest of the viewer. Now, this can also be good for thumbnails. If you want to add a little bit of a blur to it, it can be a nice little effect, but yeah. Anyway, guys, that's how you make a starburst effect. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new. If there's any other effects or anything else you'd like to learn in Photoshop or any other software, let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.